Matthew, so can you tell me a bit about your uh, film America Cat and Oakley's? Yes, what do you want to know? Um, well, just if you would like to briefly just describe the story um, for us, just to tell us what. Yes, sure. So, um, it's a, a road movie, and um, it's the story of a man who loses his mother um, back in Los Angeles. It's a Frenchman. And this um, character is going to make a journey, uh, which is both an um, interior journey on you know his childhood memories and putting back the pieces of his life after this crisis uh, of the death of his mother, and an actual journey which is you know uh, the road movie itself. Uh, he's going to try to go on the track of a Mexican woman that his mother used to know. So basically it's, um, it's a road movie about uh, a man uh, growing up and uh, trying to understand his life. And the character you play, Martin, um, this is influenced by a film that your, your mother made in 1981. Could you tell us a little bit about the inspiration for the film? Then? Yes, um, indeed. It's, um, uh, everything started when we were living in Los Angeles with my mother and she made this film called Documentaire. Uh, which is a fiction, but um, uses a lot of um, of our real life at that time. And I thought it was interesting to take this character and make him grow up. And um, it's not really the sequel of the movie because it's another point of view, but it's more the sequel of a character. And I thought it was interesting to, as my first film, you know, to um, link my work with. Um, with the films that have been important for me in my childhood and link this uh, uh, this film to, to my own history. And I'm in a, you know, in a special position having those filmmaker parents. So my childhood was made a lot of movies, acting as a child or just, you know, watching the movies that my father used to show me. So I, th I, I felt it was important to um, link my first piece of work to to this um, cinematographic childhood that I had. So these are the two aspects of the project, you know, the, the road movie about this man who loses his mother, and on another level that is not, um, that you don't have to know about to discover the film, a lot of little references to my own personal and uh, cultural background. And you're, uh, in addition to being a, a director, an actor? Um, what does that give you um, that maybe a director that doesn't have personal acting experience? What, what advantages do you have knowing what it is to be an actor yourself? Well, I guess mostly the, the feedback that I had from the other actors, that they, they felt happy with the way I um, interacted with them. Um, because you, I know what is, what is it to be uh, in the shoes of an actor and you, you, know, you're, you don't... Um, you don't really know necessarily necessarily um, every aspect of what's happening, so you have to focus on your own um, on your own part. And I know how actors are fragile and how they work on themselves and on their emotions. So I felt it was an advantage to you know to to talk to them and to interact with them to be to be an actor. But um, anyway, when you're in the shoes of the person in front of you, or you have, have been in that position, it's always, it's always easier, I guess. It's always, uh, it was very, uh, I mean, uh, I learned a lot of things on this, uh, on this film, so that was cool. And uh, Selma Hayek, that's your, uh, your, your co-actor, how, how did she get involved in the project? Can you tell us a bit about that? How, how you yeah, well, um, I, I wrote with her in mind because this character is running away from his mother's death and it takes place in Paris and he runs further and further and further. And I also wanted that at one point um, the film shift into another dimension and I thought it would be very surprising and interesting to have um, an actress like, like Salma being in a you know, French independent film. So I thought about her and I you know, just Asked her the script. I didn't know her, and I, you know, I feel very, you know, very lucky that she was interested in the project. It's a great part for her. It's a very, very challenging part, and um, and she's she's amazing in the film. So I, I, I really, uh, I really feel I'm happy about this.
and uh, your parents are both filmmakers um, themselves. So what's it like to be showing your parents your, your first directorial debut? Well, um, you know, they're part of, um, they're part of, uh, of the film. Um, they're part by their influence of the film, so I'm sure my father would have been uh, interested to, to see how, how important what he taught me and showed me um, is in my first, uh, in, in my first film. And um, my mother, well, she, you know, she, she understood also uh, really my, my project. She understood that um, I needed this link with uh, my own family, so yeah, I guess it's just the continuity of a, a dialogue that um, took place during my childhood. And what, what's the next stage for the film? Obviously you're at the BFI and it's, it's going to be released in France. What, what's the, what's, what direction are you taking the film in? Where is it going to show? Well, uh, you know, I, I produced also this film and it was very difficult because it's a very low budget film, so it took a lot of time. And uh, I'm an actor, I love acting, so I'm going to continue um, to do that. And I'm, you know, thinking of some other projects of mine, but um, might take a little time.